My name is Lisa Lindqvist. I'm an application engineer here at EDR Medeso. My plan is to run a short demonstration where I will talk a bit about the song release highlights uh, from the 2024 R1 and R2 uh, mechanical updates. I will highlight and show three of those um, updates that are within the 24 version. Uh, so, I have this valve body here, consisting of a top flange, a body and a gasket uh, located in between the flanges. I have already created a mesh of the geometry. And I have already set up some frictional contacts between the gasket and the flanges. I will, let me bring back the top flange. Um, I will create some beam connections, so to represent the bolts uh, connecting the flanges. And I will do that by inserting a beam. Um, I'll select this top edge for the scoping of the reference side and the corresponding edge on the bottom side for the mobile side and just give it some radius. I had 3.2. I now have a beam connection uh, there and instead of manually uh, repeating this for all eight holes, I will instead use the uh, object generator that maybe some of you have used, maybe some of you haven't. Um, and I will just mention that I have previously created name selections with um, one named uh, upper holes containing all the edges of the upper holes. And it's created through this worksheet um, method. And then the corresponding edges for the lower holes in a separate name selection. And I will use these when I do the object generation. So I just highlight the beam, click object generator. And here I can select which um, Entities I want to scope for the reference side, and there I want all the upper holes. On the mobile side, I want all the lower holes. Uh, I need to know between which distances this generator should search. So I will just check the what the distance is between the uh, top and bottom uh, bolt edge, and I have a distance between them of 13.5. So I will select that to search between 12 and 14, should be good. And I just hit generate. And I now have all these uh, beam connections in my connections tree. So you can also see them created as such. I will just rename these based on definition so that it actually makes sense what they are. And then let's start setting up this analysis. Um, uh, sorry, maybe I should go back to what I actually want to highlight here. So I will highlight the um, boundary conditions folder that you have available in the model tree. I will do some fluid penetration pressure on this that will uh, penetrate through the, uh, the connection between the gasket and the top flange. And I will also set up the, uh, a restart analysis. So I will do the bolt pre-tensioning in the base analysis, and I will set up a restart analysis where I apply the, uh, the fluid penetration, penetration load. Um, but first of all, let's just lock this body in place. So I will insert some, uh, just some frictional supports on the ends. And I will also do it on the uh, other bolt holes. 
uh, like so. So I have now locked it in place. I will, in this space analysis, um, also include the internal pressure of this valve. So I want it to be set up with three load steps. And just to mention, um, for the restart analysis to work, we can't have any contact splitting. So I will just set that to, to off. And then since we will do a restart, uh, starting from the last step of the space analysis, we want to go into restart controls and say that we do want to retain the files after full solve. So that should be set to yes. So we are good to go for a restart. And we, as I said, want to create some uh, bolt pretensions. And then I'll just highlight all of these beam connections. I'll drag it down to the analysis. And that gives me the bolt pretension objects. Uh, I'll highlight all of these and set some loading for the first step. Second step, I will. Uh, lock the bolts and i will keep them locked through the rest of the analysis uh, as mentioned these bolt pretension objects can be now moved to the model level and i'll do that by right mouse clicking and say move items to boundary conditions so i now have moved them from the analysis branch and they have their own place in the model branch uh, where I have my pretensions. And the benefit of this is that I can go into boundary conditions. Uh, in the context folder, I have the analysis selection option where I can set which bolt pretension I want to be active for which analysis system, which I only have one of currently. I could also obtain this folder by right mouse clicking on model doing insert uh, boundary conditions here. Uh, OK, I have the bold pretension. I have them in my boundary conditions folder. I will just collapse some things. I will also here, as I said, apply the internal pressure. So I will just mark all of the internal surfaces and I'll do insert pressure. And I only want this to be active for the last load step. So I will pretension the bolts first. Um, OK, this is now my complete base analysis. Um, so I can, from this, create a, a restart. And for that, you will go into add-ons. And uh, you have restart analysis here as a tool. You toggle that on, which I already have. And that gives you a separate tab for restart analysis. And I will click Create Restart Analysis here. And that sort of copies uh, this analysis that I had highlighted uh, and creates this, uh, this new system with uh, analysis settings being a copy of the base. And you can see that my um, restart analysis now has four load steps, so it added the extra one. Um, so I can now add additional loads that I want to act in the fourth load step, the subsequent load step after the base. So I will do that. Um, let's just see. I will add uh, my fluid penetration pressure, which is the new load object available. It is scoped to a contact region, so I will select the gasket to the top flange contact. Uh, I will set the magnitude in the table so that I only have the load set in the fourth and last load step. And then we need to define a starting point so that where the pressure starts to creep in sort of into the contact. 
and in my case that would be the edge um, between the gasket and the top flange and it recommends you to use a symmetric contact behavior and then you will need to select both of the edges uh, so I selected both the edge on the flange and on the gasket so I now have two edges selected there so this is my starting point for the fluid pressure and restart setup lets you specify which system you want to restart from um, select restart load step which is by default the last one which is what i want um, for space analysis to solve no or yes and if you want to store the results for um, only the restart or if you want to store the result also for the base analysis so uh, that should be it i will actually just go back to my boundary conditions go into analysis selection and activate the bolt pretensions also for the second analysis and this lets me um, it makes the results available for bolt pretensions so this should now be good to go to solve i think i will not uh, do that now i have sort of done um, Done this like a cooking show where I have a pre solved version of it already available, so we can have a look at that. I will just I will just switch my screen. See if I can do that straight away. Share that should have switched it. Yep, there we go. Okay, so this is my already solved. Um, restart analysis with the fluid penetration pressure same thing same supports uh, pressure internally um, and then i have set up a restart with the fluid penetration pressure and i have also done a second restart that actually restarts from b5 so it restarts from this second um or from the first restart you can say so this would be in chronological order that the base solves first the uh, restart solves next and then you have a second restart that continues from the second analysis so um yeah if we look at contact tool actually Let's look at, um, right, I will mention in this third analysis, I have added a force acting on, on the top flange here, I think upwards. So you can have, um, I have the fluid penetration pressure in this first restart. And in the second restart, I have some external load acting, uh, acting on the top flange. So you can sort of divide up the loads like this and isolate those analysis uh, and and um, and run only those so you don't have to uh, if you want to analyze the results from just this force you don't have to re solve all of the previous loads and setups but let's collapse this i just wanted to highlight that in the contact tool uh, you can now see fluid pressure and looking at the fluid pressure in this uh, restart where you have the fluid penetration pressure uh, we can see that we uh, the the fluid pressure is fully penetrating the contact at this step where the minimum pressure is no longer zero and we can maybe have a look of how it, what it looks like when the pressure penetrates the contact.
And you can also uh, look at how the bolt pretension changes throughout the, the uh, analysis. So that's all that I had for today. And thank you all very much for listening to me today and hope you have a great rest of the day and week.